Hey what's going on guys, today we're going to be talking about everything that you'll need to know in the upcoming stimulus check package, so let's get straight into it. So first, the stimulus check package will be directed towards adults and dependents that have filed for taxes, and dependents include college students, disabled adults, and elderly that are all a dependent of a eligible, eligible taxpayer. And you must have been filed for the taxes of 2019 and 2020. And you will be eligible if you are making under 75K or a household person 112K and a married couple joint is 150K. However, it starts to phase out at 80K for, reg for one person, a head of household 120K and a married couple that is joined is 160k. So the way that this stimulus package will be sent out is through direct deposit just like the other ones that we had in the past. Or if you do not have the direct deposit, it will be a paper check or a prepaid debit card that will be sent in the mail. And when we could see that this stimulus check package could come out is in the next coming weeks as the house and senate have already passed the bill and it is going now back to president biden and he plans to sign this week and you will most likely be getting the stimulus first or even early if you have a direct deposit with the irs and this is that the irs will not have to look up your name in this bill it increases the child tax credit to 250 dollars per month from the ages 6 to 17 and under the age of six to $300 per month. And this is for the year of 2021, and we could see this happen as soon as July 1st. Also, it will give 50% of expenses from 8,000 to 16,000. So for example, if you have a, one child and spend $8,000 on expenses, you can get up to 4,000 tax credit. But if you have two children and spend 16,000, you can get up to $8,000 in tax credit. And in this bill, 7% of the bill will be going towards vaccine and COVID treatments throughout the rest of the pandemic. But if we go into the bill e even deeper, there is no, stim no student bill forgiveness, no minimum wage changes, and no $200 social security boost. Well, yeah, the third stimulus has been passed, and that's going to wrap up this one. Let me know what you guys want next, and I'll catch you then.